Hi guys, Chosen on Reactions, and this video I'm going to react to the season 1 finale of Dark Angel. Let's get into it. What are you gonna do, Light Decker? Charged with the murder of Agent Sandoval. Arrest you him son of a take him back to Manicor. This way, sir. Ooh. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm going to find out. If either of you don't have the stomach for it, now's the time to say so. And then what? Get shot as well? We're with you, sir. <laughs> I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. <laughs> That's funny coming yeah, from you. Night. I'm about to get goosebumps. This won't hurt, and I'll be right behind you. Uh, no, we won't do that. Just take you yourself you out. It wasn't me. You think I could do something like that to her? To any of you? You kids have no idea how much you meant to me. Look what the cat dragged in. Said you needed a few perfect soldiers. Well, here we are. What are you talking about? He's gonna help us. Help us what? Take down Manicor. <laughs> uh, yeah. We still have one more season after this, so I would very much doubt that. But uh, I cross my fingers for you. You remember when your kids escaped and they almost shut the place down? That's nothing compared to what will happen if we can take out the lab. There'll be a war of finger pointing. Funding will disappear. And Manticor? cease to exist got a bad feeling you were gonna tell me you were my father i would never presume to pollute the deep jesus christ that did not Can't even cross my mind no i mean what a cliche that day uh oh. yeah and gross he was my wife No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When we found out pretty much like at the beginning of the season about, you know, got a little bit of information about it. His, 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 his wife, his or ex-wife, no wife, anyways, got killed. Uh, and that Zack was like, you know, uh, he probably did it himself. I thought that, that we would get some more information about it or would be some follow-up. I would, never would have thought that it would result in this. Are you freaking serious? Yikes. Inspired by? She, she, you have her eyes? Uh. We've known each other for years, Jim. Tell me the truth. Why is she killing my kids? I'm not too talking about that. That's not your kids. You need to be concerned with right now. Oh, sorry. Look, I'm put you in the cell. The cell? I should be so lucky. She wants him. She wants him dead. Target slapped on my back. Ah! Uh, that was better easy. Is it really that easy? I mean, I'm not expecting you guys to be experts, but. Maybe not answer that question. <laughs> it's all about her. Isn't it? Stop talking. You're in love with her. Shh. It's alright, son. Shh. I understand. Just shut up. All right, Great omen. Yay! That's a good sign. You okay? Sure. This is fun. <laughs> I look down at the people and think about how everybody's got problems. Maybe not a secret government agency on their ass, but you know, problems. The fact that she's here with him. I sit up here long enough, 
I start to feel like I'm just one of those people. One way or another, after tomorrow, the world's gonna be a different place for me. For both of us. Everything's gonna be all right. Right. Just to remind myself that this anyway, is not written by Joss Whedon. What happens if we run into Brennan there? She'll kill you without a second thought. The sister that you knew doesn't exist anymore. She's dead. No, she isn't. She's alive. And that means we still have a chance to get her back. But do we have time to get her back while you're doing this mission? Why, why did that scare me? They're just stepping into water. God, I mean... They're constantly being triggered. How could they not? You're clear all the way to the I would be very surprised if... Quit and still don't end up dead. Guess there is an iron team. Really? It worked, we're in. Max, it's you. And me? Brent? Tinka? No. Tinka's dead. Come on. Apparently, you were just scanned into the DNA lab. But there's still a contingent of X7s in the building. They're just kids. They're stronger, faster, and designed with hive minds. You don't want hive to minds. With them. Just stay down. Come with me. Never. I Do it. Do it. Take it. Do it now. Yeah. You better do it now. Are you for real? Do you know who I am? <gasps> Max! Do you know who I am? Do I really have to see that again? <laughs> Are you for real? Max! I mean, oh, fuck. Way too easy. You know what you need? What 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 the catch? What did lie that could do? Oh, I love my brother. Oh, this can't be it. He can't this can't really Can I get another picture? Will you get chill so fast, water. Zach? You got it. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Well, well now I definitely know it's fake. It's all over. This now it has to be real. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I, I knew it. Fuck. Of course. I should have said something a long time ago. You can wait. She's gone. She's not I'm gone? I'm gonna get her back. No. I can fix her up in there. Listen. She's not I, I, dead? She's not she dead? What's her condition? The bullet went clean through. Her right ventricles collapsed. She's gone. She's not gone. Is there damage to any other organs. What? You want the? Nothing for harvest. What the oh! fuck, bitch? Oh! Bring her back. Her heart's too badly damaged. You'll fight them. Don't, Zach. Zach, what are you gonna do? Five, five, nine, no, no, don't, don't, don't! Turn it off. You fucking bitch. He was quite a man, your brother said. You fucking bitch! But isn't it comforting to know that a part of him lives on in you? 
and let you both come home to us? To me? Sometimes it seems like it happened to someone else. Fuck. <laughs> like maybe it was a story I heard. Even though I know what happened. Sometimes I can't help feeling that she's not really gone. But because she's still she out isn't. There. And I just hope she's okay. I'm going in a second. Okay, I'll calm down a little. <laughs> uh, this was the season one finale of Dark Angel. Um, I thought it was a good finale. I don't think it was a perfect finale, but I do think it was a good one. Um, I, I guess I, I really have to see how this will... What kind of consequences will have for the second season. Um, but I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. Um, there are some minor things that I wish they would have done a little bit better or just wouldn't have. Personally, I'm not really a fan of this whole Max has Lydecker's, you know, someone he loved a lot. You know, she, she has her eyes. I don't really, I don't know. I just don't like it. It kind of makes it even icky, but not in an interesting way. Um... Just this whole, you know, like, oh, you were always special or something. Or I don't know. I don't know. I just th think it came a little bit out of nowhere. Just for me, maybe if I rewatch it, I don't feel that way. But I don't know. I just thought it was a little bit weird. Um, as of the writers weren't assured themselves, it would make sense that Lydeco would work with them together to destroy Manticore. You know, that they were like, oh, it's not enough for him that he wants to take revenge against um against what's the name Renfro like the director uh that's not enough you know the fact that he, he himself uh will be hunted down and will be killed no we have to add that Bex has has the eyes of someone he loved a lot um I don't know that for me didn't really work um I also kind of wish that they were already kind of a team up with Lidecker Maybe the previous episode or like an extra episode. It just felt a little bit too fast to me. Like, you know, Lidecker, okay, he gets shocked when he sees, you know, that thing got died about what they've done and that triggers him. And then he wants to end his life, but not just his own life. You know, he starts drinking again, but he wants to end his life, but he also wants to kill Max. He doesn't want to let Max go. Then, um... Then he's just focused on destroying Mantico. I don't know. That was just about... The thing is, Lidecker... He... Worked for me as like a regular villain, I would say. And in small doses. But he, but I don't think he was ever that interesting to me as the writers wanted him to be. Maybe for others. But for me, you know, he can be... He can... He can be a little bit intimidating. But more because of his... You know, his firm belief into perfection. And that he... You know, I believe that he believes his own convictions about, you know, that, you know, that making this kid, gen gen genetically modified kid soldiers is like the best thing to do in the world. You know, and here again, he says that in his mind, you know, his vision was like, hey, instead of uh, sending thousand soldiers and losing 100, let's just send 10 and lose no one. Um, I don't know. I, I think they could have done more with Lidecker. Uh I think they should have spent a little bit more time developing him. But that's just me. Uh, so that's... For me, Lydecker was, like, I guess the weakest element. Well, not the weakest, but one of the weaker elements of the finale. Uh, but all in all, I, I still think it works. It didn't... It, it hasn't ruined anything. Um, another thing... Okay, we have then two new X5. Uh, um, X5 people? And uh, we have... Quit and Sill, also something like, hey, it would have been nice if we would have seen them before, you know, uh, actually get to know them a little so that I would be more invested in them and would be more scared that they would die. I really thought they would die, they didn't, um, but I can't say I was really that worried about them. I mean, yeah, of course I wouldn't want them dead, but I don't really know them. Um, but 
those were like some minor things. Um, but I, I like that, you know, I, I remember saying something that, hey, maybe we could have some kind of team up with all the X5. And we didn't get them all. We only got four. But still, it was rather cool to see the four of them on the mission. Um, and making sure that they wouldn't be able to make any more of them. Um, when we saw the DNA, you know, it was very terrifying seeing how much of DNA and all that stuff they had with all the uh, corresponding barcodes. And I was wondering that more, but like, okay, if they have all that, why don't, why haven't I seen more Maxes already for us Zax? Uh, why even make them like all different? Why haven't they made like a ton of clones or stuff? So, uh, I was su positively surprised, but also terrified when we saw little Max, uh, and little, uh, Zack and all that. And, 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 you know, fighting against their older counterparts. Uh, especially Max and Little Max. Uh, Little Max was quite scary. And that fight was very intense. Uh, yikes. And... I mean, yeah. I mean, the fight that we saw but didn't really happen, I guess. No, they didn't really have a fight. Um, but it, it, I don't know. I think it was well done with how uneasy it made me feel. And when they arrived at the van, you know, with, which I thought was reality but wasn't. I was like, oh, are they already done? And I was like, you yeah, know, that went way too easy. But I was like, okay, maybe just something else is going to happen. Something else, something terrible. I don't know. But then they had this little operation. And then, you know, I was pretty much like, okay, this can't be real. This can't be real. Um, it felt way too easy. But especially with Zack. It was great to see Zack so happy and chill. Um, but, like, chill... Zack wouldn't have been so chill so fast. It takes time. You know, he has to ease himself in the, uh, into that. Uh, but I guess the final clue that is probably not real was when we saw Lidecker and Max having this like, yay, like, no. It's not because Lidecker helped them with destroying Mandalcore that he will just be invited and, you know, they would all have a great time. And I don't know. It was Everything was way too positive and like their lives are always a mess their lives are always difficult it couldn't have been and then of course we've uh of course we also got a sex scene between logan and max and i was like okay i want this to be real and i i know i said that i the main reason for the show for me liking the show is not the ship but i do like the ship um so I was like, you know, if if they don't ha happen, it's all right. If they do happen, it's all right too. So I was actually excited. I was like, oh, this has to be real. But no, I, I knew it was only a matter of time. Uh, so yeah, then we found out that, in fact, um, it wasn't real. Max got shut down uh, by herself. Um, and Zach, Zach gets captured Logan wants to get Max, wants to help her, but Lydek is like, you know, she's she's gone, can't do anything, she's a lost cause. He knocks out Logan, so he did, so he does end up saving Logan. I wouldn't have been surprised if of Lydek would have just left Ly uh, Logan there. Um, so yeah, they they have Max, they have Zack, but they try multiple times to save Max, but they can't. They say that her heart just can't take it. Uh, they say they need a new heart. So when they said they need an X5 heart, I at first interpreted it as that they needed a heart, you know, someone, like, her own heart. So I thought, like, oh my god, are they gonna get, like, little Max? That's kind of fucked up, to say the least. Um, but yeah, no. Um, it ended up with Zack. Um, even though I quite... I'm, I f feel like I... I became a mess and now I'm back into denial again. I really don't want to like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, ah, uh... like how, how messed up he ended up taking his own life so he could save Max so that they would take his heart. Like, I said it before, you know, I, I have a soft spot for Zack, and I was really, you know, looking forward to for him as well, that they would be able, all of them, the X5, to have a normal life. And now, 
just in the blink of an eye that's gone I feel like I hate and love the moment like there's something it's twisted but like poetic about it I don't know I don't know I really had a soft spot for him um, uh. but yeah it, it did end up saving Max and of course the director thought it, was, it would be a great idea to talk Max with letting her hear you know her or Zack's heartbeat <sighs> she will always have a part of Zack inside of her she literally has his heart I don't know. I feel like I, I love the scene, but also hate the scene. I don't know. I'm just drifting between denial and like, you know, please just let me die. <laughs> uh, just let me lie here. It's, 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 ugh. Yeah, and Logan, you know, uh, instead of having a monologue by Max, we had a monologue of Logan. And that he feels that, you know, she's still out there, which she is. She is. And they're going to attempt to brainwash her. But, you know, I'm... they're not going to break it down. You can't break Max down. You can't. But now that they, you know, saw, now that we've seen that they made made, made other versions of them. Or, well, copies of them. However you want to call it. It does leave the door open for seeing a particular actors back again. Like the actors who play Tenga. We might see if... If, I'm assuming it's also Little Tinga. Um, I'm just I'm just wondering if there are already also older versions of them, or did they only made children ch little versions of them? Well, little versions. Did they make other versions of them like around the same time that they escaped, so that they're around the same age as them, or did they only do it like a few years ago? I guess my my question, which shouldn't be answered, <laughs> to be clear, is. Um, better, we will see uh, like Tinga, the actress who plays Tinga again as an older Tinga, and maybe Zach. I don't know. But yeah, then I guess they would all be brainwashed. Uh, I really don't want to see a brainwashed uh, alternate Zach. No thanks. <sighs> My god. Max couldn't even tell Logan that she loves him. No, of course she had to uh, lose consciousness. How tragic can their lives be? Seriously. Oh my god, the, the, but yeah, the, 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 the little children, the X7, very disturbing. Uh, but yeah, but where do we go from here? Like, I don't really know, but yeah, what, do, what kind of predictions do I have for the second season? I guess we're going to start off with another breakout. I'm hoping. I'm not sure. I'm kind of wondering if we're going to have multiple episodes. Like the thing is, are we going to have a time jump or not? If we're not going to have a time jump, then I'm presuming that maybe it's going to take a few episodes that we're going to see how they're going to attempt to be brainwash Max. Uh, maybe she's going to be with other... other recaptured X5 that they're also trying to brainwash, something like that. Maybe for a few episodes. Um, and then. I'm just wondering if she's going to escape. Or is Logan going to break her out. But I feel like Max will. Let herself. Will find her own way out. Um, other than that. Yeah I mean I've heard. Way before I started the show. When I got recommended to do the show. Um, that. That. The finale would probably pissed off a lot of people. So if I remember correctly, and please don't, you know, don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. Just don't. But just thinking out loud. But I'm wondering. Okay, so that feels like they didn't know in time that they would would get cancelled. They didn't know in time that they wouldn't get another season. So knowing that, I don't think they're gonna go for or oh, we're going to destroy Metaco once again. So I'm not sure how this season will look like. I have no idea. Maybe Max is gonna maybe Max is gonna take over Zack's role. Like Zack who Zack kept tra track of all the kids. So maybe she's gonna take that over. Maybe we're gonna travel around more. I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, I just, I really enjoyed the season. I think the season is very good, very solid. I can't really come up with episodes that I out, outright disliked. Um, I think pretty much every episode was was a great episode. There were, I can barely remember episodes where I was like, yeah. You know, I, I, I can't remember episodes where I was like, yeah. There's maybe like one episode where I was like, okay, it was good, but not, you know, not as interesting and uh, as I well, as I wanted it to be, um, maybe the hostage one, because everything was interesting for me and entertaining, except I, just in general, I don't like hostage storylines most of the time. Both times hostage storylines don't really interest me. But other than that, I can't really come up with things. Hmm. Uh, a lot of great characters, you know, Max, definitely one of my favorite characters. Logan, also really like him. Uh, I do think Max is my favorite character. We have Logan. But I also, uh, of course, I also have a lot of love for original Cindy. Uh, I'm going to guess we're going to see her again. Otherwise, you're going to see me very angry. Um, you know, Zach, as I've said before, um, we haven't seen him. I don't think he was that much in the show, but he does feel like he was a big part. Hmm. Um, you know, Lidecker, again, um, he's not my favorite villain. And I do think they could have done more with him, but... I don't know. I've, there's still something about him, I guess. I have to name him as well. I do think he's. I still think he's memorable, but not as memorable as I would love, would love him to be. Um, but also, you know, other characters, um, Herbal, Sketch, Sketchy. <laughs> I still bad with his name. Even them, you know. Uh, I think, you know, what I really like about the show again is that the great world building. It really feels. I really feel a part of that world while I'm watching it. I believe the world, I understand the world. Um, it feels real. The characters as well feel as real people. I always appreciated that we also got to see storylines of Max or friends without Max, which made them way more human, way more realistic in my eyes. We got to see different sides of them. Uh, especially original Cindy, you know, her development as well. I really hope they're going to continue that and give us even more original Cindy. Um, Normal, you know, <laughs> even him. He also gave me a lot of uh, laughs. Not always for the right reasons, but hey. Um, I don't know. I do think, you know, this show, I think, I, I, I'm feeling like I'm going to have a very big heart with how many shows as, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have a special place in my heart. But based on the first season, I would, I would definitely add Dark Angel to that. Uh, I'm really hoping that season two is at least just as good as the first season. Um, I think this show, again, not just a great job with role building, but also with character development. If I'm thinking, you know, if I'm if I'm taking the max from this episode and, and and compare it with the first episode, I do see a difference. I do see growth. Uh, also for the relationship uh, between Max and Logan, and also for original Cindy, um, fight scenes also quite well. Uh, they're not as good as, for example, Xena, in my opinion, but I do enjoy the fight scenes. Um, I enjoy the voiceovers. Um, there are sh more shows who do voiceovers. Not all of them are well good at it. Um, well, at least in my opinion. But this one definitely belongs to the category. They know what they're doing. The writing of the monologues is good, and it really feels like this is something that you know we're getting a part of her thoughts. Um, it's in character, and it doesn't feel cheesy or, or something. It it worked. Uh, acting for me. I think it was also, I guess, pretty solid. And I can't immediately cope up with moments where I was taken out of it. Um, I think everyone, you know, maybe I'm forgetting something, but just, you know, going from memory, I think everyone was doing what they had to do. Um, if, you know, I don't I don't remember anyone being out of character. Jessica Alba, really. This is a really great role for, uh, well, of her, from her. Uh, I really wish this would have gotten more recognition. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, again, based on the first season, I'm really surprised that I barely, well, actually never <laughs> hear about this show. Um, I do, I, you know, this is a show that it feels, it definitely still feels very much relevant. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed my reactions. I definitely enjoyed watching this show. And I'm excited for starting with the second season. Thanks just for watching. Bye.